Hi, I'm Kevin with Godlike Incorporated, and this is the PA9 Powerall. The Powerall is a digital switching power supply designed specifically for guitar effects. The Powerall outputs a massive 2000 milliamps of current, which means it can power dozens upon dozens of analog pedals, as well as many high current digital multi effects and modelers that other power supplies can't handle. It also means your pedals will get a strong, consistent power flow, resulting in better tone. The Powerall has a space saving configuration that takes up only one outlet. It features a 10 foot power cord with ferrite noise filter to help reduce line noise. The Powerall has the lowest noise floor of any digital power supply on the market with less than 0.2 UA of AC leak to ground and very low ripple current. The Powerall is auto sensing and will accept any wall voltage and step it down to 9 volts DC so it can be used anywhere in the world. The Powerall is built to withstand the rigors of the road. The AC power blades are hardwired to the PC board and large components are glued in place to prevent wiggle and shorting. We're so confident in the construction quality of the Powerall that we offer a lifetime warranty. If you ever have any problems with your Powerall, contact us and we'll replace it at no charge. The Powerall is available in three kit configurations. Powerall Single, just the power supply with no cabling. Powerall Basic Kit, which powers up to five pedals out of the package and Powerall Deluxe Kit, which powers up to 11 pedals out of the package. The Powerall system offers more cable configurations and accessories than any other power supply. We offer a variety of daisy chain configurations and jumper cables to power pedals with different plug types than the standard barrel connector. Our male barrel plugs use spring-loaded clips to assure a tight connection, and our daisy chain plugs have a locking ridge to prevent accidental removal from the pedal. Now we're going to demonstrate how to power up a small pedal board using the Powerall. The first thing you want to do is set up your pedals in the order that you want to power them. We have an overdrive, a distortion, a delay, a boost, and a tuner. Pretty standard setup you'd see at any club gig. At this point, our daisy chain is not connected to the Powerall. And what we're going to do is connect the pedals to the daisy chain. The overdrive goes right onto the daisy chain. We're going to use the cable blue for the big muff. We're going to use the cable green for the delay modeler. We're going to use the cable gray for the micro amp and the tuner goes directly onto the daisy chain. The last thing we do is connect the daisy chain to the power roll itself. There you have power and you're ready to rock. Okay, so now we've got our small demo board set up and powered with the power roll. So I'm going to play a couple of riffs through it. Uh, we got a 65 Fender. Deluxe Reverb, Tokai, SC2, and away we go. Here, nice and quiet, I'm gonna roll off the volume on the guitar. You can hear a little bit of extra hum there. That's a little special sauce from our vintage Big Muff. And uh, there you go. Dead silent, we're gonna turn up the amp a little bit. Quiet and carefree, the power all. Okay, so we just showed you how to power up a small pedal board with the power all, and instead of you know plugging together 50 or 60 pedals to show you what it can do uh, with a large pedal board, we decided to take the easy way out. And uh, what we've got here is the power all powering four Line 6 modeling pedals. And if you know anything about the Line 6 modelers, these units uh, draw 500 milliamps of current per unit uh, when they're powered with 9 volts DC. So the Powerall with its 2000 milliamp current rating can power four of these units connected together. And there's really no other power supply on the market, uh, digital, analog, or otherwise, that can do this. So uh, we've connected all four units. We're using four cable greens, which is the correct uh, jumper cable to power these pedals up. And I'm just going to strum a few chords and uh, show you how this thing sounds nice and clean and quiet. Once again, I'll roll off the volume on the guitar and turn up the amp volume so you could hear just dead quiet little resonation from the modulator.
Okay, so uh, we wanted to push the envelope a little bit and test the outer limits of the power all, uh, power all capability. So what we did was we added a Boss TU2 tuner at the end of our signal chain with the four line six modelers. So basically we're doing four line six modelers and a Boss TU2 off of a single power all. And uh, here you go, it powers them all up and it's dead quiet. Mute on the TU2, back, zero volume on the guitar. You can hear, turn it up. We're getting a little swirly swirl from the modulation modeler. Besides that, it's nice and dead quiet. So there you have it. We've got four Line 6 modeling pedals and a Boss TU2 all being powered up off one PA9 power all. Uh, just keep in mind, in order to do this with uh, other uh, power supplies from different brands, you would need uh, two Voodoo Labs Pedal Power 2 Pluses to power these pedals, and you'd need at least four of the Line 6 power supplies in order to power this same uh, signal chain. So I think the choice is obvious. What would you rather carry to a gig? Two of these or four of these or one power all? So there you have it, the PA9 power all from Godlike. Other power supplies may look like it, but they don't last like it. Mm -hmm.